Last week on Turn of the Tide. Now, let me raise a glass and drink to Ben and to me. To a long, happy, and fruitful marriage. Yeah. Wake up, boy. Wake up, boy. Mm -hmm. What you was doing last night make you can't wake up this morning? You ain't do nothing. I missed out the two. Who he? What do you want? He say he have to talk with you personal. I don't like the idea you going and work in Trinidad world. I love big man now, Louise. I could take care of myself. He told him, girl in Trinidad, you go forget me, Roy. You think I could forget you, Louise? I see it happen all the time. You're going to meet some other girl, and you go forget about me. Some people saying last night. Some stupidness now. They said, Oh, I'll lose it down to really last week. <laughs> I was so big about Harold and he don't it. Yeah, monk and meat that was in Teresa wedding. <laughs> they feel a <laughs> piece of willing. I know what some stupidness you hear. So people feel me give them jackass me to eat. It's the only one here. So you tell them it's a big bull I kill. Me never bother for answer them. I hear all going to the dad. Somebody come in the wedding and hear him sing. And give him a walk singing in Trinidad. We learn for sing, say singing for people. He yeah, learned that singing is a walk a gift. When I was young, I used to sing plenty. I remember a time I let go my baritone, whole blast in the tail. Everybody in church stopped singing and watched me. And when the service finished, the priest said, With you, brother Joshua, we don't need no organ. How are in the lungs? Is me all take after? I see you and Linda leave the wedding. I got tight, tight. And like she was tipsy, you must be advantage here. Man could take advantage of woman. So where are the body children? Them children had a right to be sleeping them hours day. So how it was? And Glenda have some good flesh day. This one man doesn't talk me business in them kind of thing. I'm leaving that for your imagination. And I see she sister leave with tiny brother. And like things sweetening. I see like he's still here. If you was about them to be a good girl. All them to be good girl. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet like a case about. Well, look, life is to enjoy till you can't make a game. Mm. Then it's time to dead. We leave for Trinidad on Friday. You have to meet me at the airport at 8 o'clock. The meeting starts at 1, both Friday and Saturday. I think we can pick up a few medals once you have the will to win. We'll be staying at a guest house in Woodrow. Any questions? Okay, best of luck. Toby was good today. Like you're having a good time. I'm trying to. When are you going back home? 
in a few days. What you tell Betty? I told her it's been in a few days. I don't like what you're doing, Charlie. What don't you like? You know damn well it's because I know right that you're still here. And I can't encourage you in your dirty, worthless living. You is a married man with two little picnic and running around the place with Glenda and knock about worthless sister. You was never a man like that. I sure you tell your wife one set of lie why you have to stay in Tobago. I bet it's just where I encourage you in that. I'm a big man, Tiny. Nobody has to encourage me in anything. You can't leave your family and go running behind Nora and I go sit down quiet. I'm not going to discuss my private life with you, Tiny. And I'm not going to encourage any slackness in this house. If you want to run your sinful life, go and run it somewhere else. Not in this house. Are you putting me out, Tiny? I say you can't stay here as long as you intend to go around with Nora. If you stop going wrong with you, you could stay here as long as you want. The trouble with you, Tiny, is you want to run everybody's life for them. You want to dictate what they can do and what they can't do. Well, that can work with their children to a certain stage, but you can't tell me what to do, Tiny. This is a Christian home. I try to bring up my children right, and I just try to live right. And I don't want nobody call me name in any of your worthlessness and say, I encourage you. I don't want Betty to think I'm encouraging you in that slackness. So before that happens, you better leave one time. I'm leaving, Tiny. I don't want to contaminate your house. You can come back anytime and stay as long as you want, as long as you intend to behave yourself. Thank you very much.